Hey y'all, how are you? Welcome back, Jackson M. Haskell. Here, so the quick announcement is that the video coming after this on June 20th, where I start at Discovery Cove, Discovery Cove Shopping and Dining, which is really cool. I'm super excited for that. And that this video we're filming right out of the video I'm filming right now today is going to be on the 19th. And I'm this is a Ghoulies, um, released in 1985, I believe. I am pleased to announce that... 85. Uh, next Ghoulies film, Ghoulies 2, will be June 25th. Um, I'm really excited. G Ghoulies is a four franchise. Four horror movie fran a series, not really a franchise. So, we're going to be covering the first two in June, and finishing it in the second two in... July. We have some really famous actors who would appear in later on in the movies. Um, one of them, who I mentioned it right now, we have um, Matthew Lillard, Lillard in one of the sequels. Here we go. Um, the movie Ghoulies was released in 1985 on January 18th, one day before my birthday. Uh, it was distributed by Empire Pictures. It's a company formed by Charles Band. I will mention Band when we get to the second film. But yeah, um, this film was directed by Luca Burkobi. Burkobi. This would have been his first film. It's a crazy thing. He's mostly known for a lot of stuff. Um. Some of the things he was in Simon and Simon as Bobby Williams slash Landers. FX a series as Wolf. Strangers by Night, Mantis. He was a producer of 12 Monkeys, which was a TV show, and also Iris. This was his first film. Uh, this would be the only film we're going to be covering from him, I believe. But he did another horror film called Granny. And he also written uh, Ghoulies too, so he's a big part of the franchise. And Ghoulies 2 would have been his last Ghoulies film he worked on. Um, but yeah. Let's talk about who, what the Ghoulies is. Ghoulies is an interesting franchise. There are little monsters. Um, and yeah, they look like gremlins. And the first one is a ghoulie in a toy lint. And the tagline is, they'll get you in the end. Like I said, we have some kind of well-known people in this first movie. Uh, one of the people, uh, okay, so while we're talking about the bands, one of them is named Charles Band, really one well person. He did a lot of soundtracks for movies. Uh, he's really to Charles Band. Charles Band, really, I'm pretty sure he's actually related to Charles Band. Yep, um, uh, he's the brother of Charles Band. When we're talking about the band family, they made a lot, a lot of B-list movies. Uh, Tremors, no, sorry, not Tremors, Transfers is one of the more famous ones they made. Um, Ginger Dead Man is another. Evil Bong, they did a couple, um, trying to think what I was going to say. Just a lot, and there, his dad, Albert Band, is also a film producer slash producer, also. But and it was also music by Shirley Walker. Shirley Walker is one of the most iconic females. She's one of the only female, few females film score persons working in Hollywood during time. Uh, she's made a lot. She passed away sadly in two thousand uh, six, but just made so much things. I didn't know her Batman animated series. 
I would say is probably one of the more iconic ones. Batman and Massive Phantasm. Um, Falcon Great. Falcon, sorry, Falcon Crest. Mantis, Viper. Uh, Spawn Animated Series, Superman Animated Series, and just a lot of other stuff. And she's worked on just like she worked on this and a lot of couple other films. Which is really cool. Now let's talk about the actors and actresses because I think that's too much time on people personally. We have Peter Leopsis as John Jonathan Graves. Never heard of him. He doesn't have a Wikipedia page. We have Lisa Pelican as Rebecca. Her known for Broadway. Uh, she was a Juilliard uh, school. Um, she was in 1977 production of Romeo and Juliet. I don't know if I know her from anything else. Um, she's been in a couple of horror-esque films. Uh, she appeared as the younger sister of Vanessa Redgrave, the title character in the film Julia. She also starred in the horror film Jennifer, released in 1978, which is cool. And other films include Return of the Bleak Lagoon. Um, and Ghoulies. But, uh, we also have Scott Thompson. Twister, uh, Ghoulies, Fast Time, Ridgemont High, and Police Academy. Just some really iconic films there. Um, I don't know who he really is, but... He played um, Chad Copeland in Police Academy. He was also in Parasite Jack. Um, Jack Cross, the Michael Keaton version, not the <laughs> Jack Frost horror film. TJ Hooker, Frightmare, just a lot of other stuff, which is cool. We got some, we have Ralph Seymour, um, as Mark Toadboy, I forgot to mention, Linda Pelican plays Rebecca, and Scott Thompson plays Mike, the Toad Boy. Uh, Empire of the Sun, Killer Party, Rain Man, which is cool. Uh, Underground Aces, Back Roads, Just Before Dawn. And he was born on Star Wars Day, fun fact too. Um, his last film was 1997, where he was in The Relic. Yeah, Relic's it really interesting. I don't like covered ass in that, but um Next up we have Marska Hardigay. She is probably one of the more current modern day actor actresses on this list. But this movie um Law and Order, I believe is what yeah, Law and Order Special Victims Unit where she plays Olivia Benson. She was also in Law and Order and the spin off Law. Yeah, as we use the spin off. Just really want to know. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I am evidence. Um, yeah, I don't really. Falcon Crest also, Can't Hurry Love, just a lot of other stuff. We also have, she plays Donna, uh, Keith Joy Dick as Dick, David Dayan as Eddie, Victoria Keith, Cat Catlin as Anastasia, uh, Twin Peaks where she's Blackie O'Reilly, Ellen Forrest in Maniac Cop, Dr. Captain Peak and Howling, uh, Five Rebirth and Anesthesia Movies. I really want to cover um, Maniac Cop sometime maybe in the future. Um, 
We got Tamara Detro, who was an American stage actor, known for being in the movie E.T. Extra Terrestrial. Next up, we got uh, Michael Philip D. Perez, who is an English singer known for playing multiple roles. Actually, he plays Malcolm Graves. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, Tamara D. D. Chokes plays Reed. Again. Pretty good. But, um, Guilty Perez, MacGyver, where he plays Murdoch, an original Mac MacGyver. Uh, he plays Lenny Stokes and Lewis and Clarks, and Murdoch's mentor, Nicholas Howellman, and MacGyver in 2016. Which is cool. Then we have the, I'm not really one of the actor, we have, uh, Jack Nance as Wolfgang. This might be one of his first time we would have mentioned Nance, I think. Um, just a really well-known person. I would probably know him from Racerhead, where he plays uh, Henry Spencer. Which, I've never seen a Racerhead. That's a weird movie. But he would be the star in that role movie. Um, Ghoulies, a couple years later. Dune, um, uh, from 84. He's worked a lot with, um, David Lynch and stuff, I would say. Probably. Meatballs 4. Voodoo. Uh, Twin Peaks Missing Pieces. Uh, no, for Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks, where he plays Pete Martell. Really cool, and that's really it. Like I said, this film was released January 18, 85. We're going to be covering the sequel, Goodies 2, on June 25th, which is great. And like I also said, the video coming after this on the 20th, we're talking about Discovery Cove Shop in, in Dying, and I hope you all enjoy. Bye bye.